lost now, you crickets. Hey, wait a minute. Who the hell is this? Ah, one of the newcomers. <laughs> All right, you may go. We have something to talk about. Well, young man, now we can talk the masks off. Huh? I thought you didn't expect to see me here, huh? <laughs> it's hardly surprising. Nobody would expect that. So, the cretin that he is, sometimes does show surprising creativity. I have to give him that. Destroying what remains of the resistance, getting rid of the rich and rooting up treason in one fell swoop. This plan has... grandeur. So that's why I'm sitting here. I don't even remember since how long. Looking at my property and listening to my double on the radio. Uh, that double has a way with the radio, I must say. Using him as a mere clay pigeon even seems like a waste. Oh well. <laughs> if anything, there's too many talents among my people. See this portrait? Does it even look like me? Of course it doesn't. The artist is a prime case of one talent too many. This cretin painted this off my double. Should have been a spitting image of me. But I don't even recognize this face. I can't remember where the painting came from either. No matter though. Let's talk about something else. Guests and trains, for example. <laughs> oh, we've been waiting for you. We do have ears in the West, just like you have... used to have here. Don't take it personal, but all of your spies had to burn for offending the Holy Flame. <laughs> a man's got to know his limitations, you see. I have a right to laugh at that bullshit because I invented it all. I don't remember when, though. But that don't matter. What matters is that even I keep the facade up when there's slaves around. And anyone so crass as to publicly, in public, offend the Holy Flame is an enemy. Is that clear? You people should learn subtlety. <laughs> Then we might even cooperate. I doubt you were sent here for nothing, after all. Hmm? There are some rumors. Oh, don't be surprised. There are rumors about you already. <laughs> and here's what they say. Was it you who stole our water, Bowser? No. Don't bother denying it. I know everything. Well, hey, no harm, no foul. The slaves will have to drink a bit less for some time, that's all. Do you really expect my double would even consider not topping up his swimming pool over that trifle? <laughs> Power must dazzle with extravagant displays of affluence. Even the comedian sitting on my throne understands this. <laughs> All the slaves will have to die of thirst before the Baron cuts his morning shower time to half an hour. For such is the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> the main lesson from this fiasco will be learned by the cretins that let you pull this heist off. And a Bowser is a minuscule price to pay. If that makes them to start treating the task of guarding the only source of fresh water in the area with due diligence. The lesson made even more convincing by the punishment you personally delivered to the culprits in question. I must say, <laughs> thank you for acting on my behalf. <laughs> Well, as far as I can see, you've been keeping busy. Subtlety, not your strong suit, young man. Didn't you help that witch escape from the lighthouse? <laughs> oh, don't shy away from taking credit. It was all part of the plan. If not for you, she would have been rescued by Soul's men. Everything must look natural after all. 
Duel will kill the accursed Baron. The oppressed people will rebel. They will be headed by the new leaders of the Resistance. Gjul will by right take the tyrant's place. Many of his old flunkies will swear allegiance to her. At that moment, she will discover that in addition to their freedom, the slaves will have gained hunger and thirst. <laughs> Gjul knows nothing of the effort it takes to supply all my subjects with the barest of necessities. And when they... Dying of hunger, with parched throats, start praying for the holy flame to save them. I will rise from the dead. <laughs> and I will be their salvation. Such is the will of the holy flame, young man. Such is the will of the universe. The holy flame. When did I get the idea, I wonder? It's a great idea, too. Uh, well, no matter, as long as I had it. Well, I must give credit where credit is due. You don't waste time. Thank you for taking care of that checkpoint in the port. Now, regrettably, whenever an organization reaches a certain size threshold, it starts accumulating... ballast. Incompetent, mindless cretins incapable of taking care of one man with a whole team. In this light, your actions, young men, not only didn't harm my organization, but on the contrary, made it stronger by weeding out those garbage humans. I'm truly thankful. Young man, I must say you never disappoint me. Huh. Freeing the slaves, what a noble pursuit. Now, having had their fill of freedom in the desert, with no equipment or protection from mutants, the survivors will finally understand what it is they really need. A human is, essentially, a simple being with very basic needs. Some food and water, a modicum of protection from the desert of reality that surrounds us, and what is most important, purpose. Serving the will of the Holy Flame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, young man, I am a bit drained. You're welcome to enjoy the pool. There's entertainment ready. Out of three playthroughs, this being my third playthrough, this is the first time I came up to the to the Baron, this Baron. And I probably should kill him just because he pretty much has the same ideals. And he, uh, he doesn't mind taking some slaves, but since this is my first time encountering him, I'm going to let him live.
That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope indeed.